What is up guys, it is Tim here and welcome to this episode 61 of the Oxford United Management and we have two games. One being Watford. So let's get straight in. I'm playing Atanasov, Piazon and the new signing. I'm just going to call him Mr. F because I don't actually know how to pronounce his name. There he is. He looks like he would kill you if he even looked at him. And uh, hopefully he can score a debut goal. Unfortunately, he didn't. But he did have a nice chance early on to get on the score sheet. He just didn't make the most of it. And to be honest, Watford nearly scored against us uh, when that happened. And it came off the post, off the post, and then into the keeper's hands. And it was pretty lucky, but so was the Atanasov goal. I mean, look at that. So luck was with us for the first half, at least, today. I'm not. There's the trademark celebration. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure why I didn't do it, but I did. And let's take another replay on that. Look at that. Oh, big header from uh, Mr. Johnson. I, Johnson, and Atanasov chested it down, smashed it in the back of the net, past the keeper. He can't save it. They can't do anything. Atanasov 1-0 up against Watford, and they uh, tried to sweat it out. To be honest, they had a couple of chances five minutes later, and that instantly turned into a rather nice chance for us. Well, Lucas Piazza on through, can he score? No. And they booted it away. It was quite a good game. I did uh, thoroughly enjoy playing it at the time, so... Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, Tarsov especially nearly scoring this goal. That would have been something special. Um, but, but yeah, like chances were all around. That was in the second half. And, uh, well, yeah. I was a bit pissed off when they scored. I instantly paused the game, made some subs, and uh, Tarsov scored a couple of minutes later. That's how the game rolls when I play. Goal after goal after goal. There isn't many highlights, but when I do get a highlight... It's definitely a goal. What a nice smash along the floor there as well. And he was taken out by the defender a couple of minutes later. Managed to pull off the shot still. 2 was for Tanisov. Well pulled off. 2-1 up. And uh, surely we can't concede another goal. But unfortunately we are mistaken. Because look at this my friends. They have a corner. Yep, yep. You see this? You see this? They have a corner. Whack it in. We get it away. They still get it. We trip them up. The keeper shoots. What the hell? Then we mix up between my defenders and the keeper. And suddenly it falls to Dini. Who has an open goal to tap it in? That made it 2-2. That's the most bullshit goal I've ever conceded. I say that nearly every episode. That's because it's true. 2-2 at full time. And we were robbed of a nice three points there. And that would have given us a really strong position in the league. But nevertheless, we go into our last game of the month and of the episode. Wigan Athletic, recently relegated from the Premier League. Uh, this is their first season down. They're looking to go straight back up. And uh, we are looking to silence them with this... Uh, a vital win here. Constable kind of had a half chance early on. Nothing was ever really going to come from from it. However, when Defudis was set through a few minutes later, he made it count. Slotting it into the bottom corner on the 17th minute. Really nice. It's not a nice finish. It's, well, I don't know. I suppose it is a nice finish. Look, it's just roll along the floor. Calm. I get paid three grand a week to do that. What are you going to do? I made it 1-0 and it wasn't the Tazov that actually got us off to our first goal, which was interesting. That would have been really nice if it had gone in. It was going over. Uh, but luckily the keeper managed to... Or not luckily, but yeah, the keeper managed to get it anyway. That was pretty much their only actual chance in the uh, in the opening moments. But then, you know, 32 minutes, Watson scored. Kind of a dodgy goal. He just walked for everyone. But, you know, this is Wigan. They're like Premier League standard. They've only just gone down. So we need a, we needed a good comeback. A good uh, goal to put some lead in. And I provided that in the 45th minute. Let's, uh, let's take another replay on that. Like I always say... Uh, look at that, bad touch by the defender, Tanisov just pounced, could have passed it, but you know, he's Tanisov, we uh, we want him to score everything, because at the end of this uh, this time, we probably will sell him. Unfortunately, Constable didn't always didn't manage to check that over, but Lucas Piazon was on hand to make it 3-1, that was four minutes after half time, and that pretty much sealed the result there. I mean, there were a couple more chances, I didn't even take a rebound on that, because it was a stupid rebound goal, there were a couple more chances for Wigan, this being the first, and uh, look at that. Really well, uh, really well headed away, to be honest. And uh, this being the second, and you know, un unfortunately, I gave away a penalty, which of course I do every game. And I'm a bit pissed off because uh, Ashley Malt actually got red carded, from what I believe. And it wasn't D-Bat, yeah, it was Ashley Malt. Um, for a second, I thought it was me because that was my pro, but uh, doesn't really matter. I suppose he's one of my center young centre backs, so I was looking to sell him or flog him off or get some money from him. Uh, but in the end, you know, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I pretty much ban. He won't lose much value. And I'll play him straight away. Um, and I'll obviously keep Paul Buxton on the pitch. And we'll walk on the pitch at all times. Of, of, along with Keith McManaman, or whatever his name was. And a uh, really well-taken penalty. Well, not a well-taken penalty, but a, a nicely-taken penalty. And that made a 3-2. 
we'd have a bit of a scare later on. Um, that was going in if the keeper hadn't caught it, but luckily for us, he did. And that was actually the full-time result. So, we are going to take one more look at the... One more look? One look at the league table before we go. Uh, but as you may know, it's never the the episode. And uh, so, yeah. Here it is. Nottingham Forest and Blackpool are first with uh, Cardiff on 10 points. Then three teams on nine uh, make up the next six. And then we are eighth. We are on eight points. So we're three points off top if we win. And uh, some other teams lose. So we're in a strong position. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. Bye.